Great work, guys. In the previous section, we learned about how to train our first classifier. We implemented a very basic neural network and saw it in action. Now in the third section of our video series, we'll deal with the graphical visualizations of our classifiers by looking at the different tools available in TensorBoard. In this section, we'll talk about the different tools that TensorFlow provides us. To visualize our classifier graphically, we'll talk about TensorBoard and how we can use it to visualize the histograms of our weights and biases matrices. We'll talk about how to visualize events in TensorBoard. Finally, we'll modify our previous classifier code to see it in action in TensorBoard. So let's get started with TensorBoard. Welcome to the first video of Section 3. We'll start by learning about TensorBoard and its features. In this video, we'll talk about the need of TensorBoard toolset and how to use an example code for visualizing our classifier and how to run TensorBoard to actually see the visualizations. We'll talk about why we would be needing TensorBoard in our projects and we'll look into a reference implementation of the TensorBoard toolset to get a basic feel of how everything looks and how we can use it to our advantage. TensorBoard is TensorFlow's main tool for visualizing our network features. In a nutshell, it requires a log directory, which is basically a directory containing different run sessions of TensorFlow, network trainings, network trainings. Each log file contains different sets. Each log file contains a different set of market serialized data. We can then run our TensorFlow training session and view the full results after it's been trained. The reason we need such a rich graphical toolset is because most of the time, there are thousands and millions of updatable parameters in our classifier. We really need to have some way of seeing all the updates and make decisions about how to change our classifier, hyperparameters, or if we need to change the classifier model entirely. Textual debugging can't help us here because of so many parameters at work in our model. Thus, TensorBoard comes to our rescue. Manually looking into logs proves to be error prone. It makes it really easy for us to visualize the parameter updates and help us look at what is going into our classifier and what we're getting out of it. Also, we can learn about our network behavior, that if it's even learning from the data set or not. It's really helpful to debug what we've actually implemented through our code so we can see all the graphical nodes connected to each other in a sensible format. TensorBoard comes pre-installed with TensorFlow if you've not installed from source because there you could explicitly exclude TensorBoard while installation. Also, it provides you with an already set up TensorBoard playground so you can instantly see how it works. It doesn't require you to have TensorBoard installed or even TensorFlow because it's running online on Google server. The classifier is for the MNIST dataset and it includes all the event details, histogram graph, and normal 2D graphs of the classifier training characteristics. You can also check out the images that are going into the network by accessing the images tab on top. Sometimes the images we're feeding to the network are distorted due to the reformatting of the NumPy arrays as we want to convert it to a format that the network can learn easily. So this is a good place to check for such kind of errors. Now if you want to run your own TensorBoard instance in your local machine, you just run the command tensorboard space dash hyphen log dir equals slash tmp slash tensor logs. The location slash tmp slash tensor logs is the folder where the tensorboard logs are stored. We'll talk about what these logs are and how we can store them ourselves. After running the command, go to the URL http colon slash slash localhost colon six zero zero six and you'll see an instance of TensorBoard running on your browser. It can't get any easier than this. Feel free to play around with the interface. Now you can set up your own set of histograms and scalar events. You could set up your input images so you can visualize the incoming data to the network as you train your network. In this video, we learned about TensorFlow toolbox called TensorBoard, which could be employed for the graphical visualization of our classifiers. We looked at how to play with the reference implementation of TensorBoard by looking into some of the scalar summaries, histogram data, network graphs, and incoming data to the network. We also looked into how to run our own TensorBoard instance on our local machine. Later on, we're going to feed it a TensorBoard log 
so we can visualize our set of data and events.